throw away your L mounts because all you'll ever need now is the new ATOL bracket. Look at that. Let's talk more about what you get when you buy the ATOL mount. I saw the ATOL mount a couple of months ago and I instantly had to get it when I saw it because of how easy it looked to use compared to having to switch horizontal to vertical. So basically the main annoyance of having an L mount is it gets in the way of your stuff and obviously you have to readjust it every single time you want to go from horizontal and now I want to adjust, move everything around to move to vertical. And that's crazy, but we'll do it in one fluid motion here. So as soon as I saw this, I had to get it. And I just want to quickly go through what it's like to set it up and what my thoughts were, so you know if it's worth it for yourself to get it. I've seen a lot of comments about this. This ring looks like it's supporting the lens and it actually is not at all. It's actually still attached normally and every all the weight is going onto the tripod head, which is nice. Oh, now I will say the first thing you need to know about getting this mount is there actually are a lot of different variations of this mount depending on what camera you have. And they still are rolling out new mount designs for different cameras, which is awesome. So as of right now, there are only three mount types out. And this one right here is the D. This is for all digital DSLR cameras. Their F mount is for their Sony cameras. And the C mount is for mirrorless Canon and Nikon cameras. I'll link below a list of all the cameras that work with this right now. So let me show you what you get when you buy it. Oh, my favorite part, taking off the lenser. So as you can see, here, it's actually attached to the bottom of your camera with the normal mount. And then it's just a ring going in front of the lens. So the mirror of my camera is fully exposed right now. Obviously, you want to cover that quickly, but I'm just showing you so you'll be able to see. So with the mount, you have a lock here on the side to be able to lock it in whatever rotation you want. But if you unlock that, it can go full 360 around the camera here. So the, the lens is not technically moving, so it's the camera itself rotating around the tripod. So this is what it looks like out of the box. You have the mount to the bottom of your camera right here, and that just screws in. And that's why it matters what camera you get because the ring size changes and also the different variations of mounts matter because of the distance between the lens and the camera body, depending on how thick it is. So you wanna make sure you get one that's, that works for your camera or will not go far enough away from the base here to actually be able to rotate. And then to use it, it's as simple as attaching this to your camera, and then they have this little tightening screw right here, which tightens the ring. So if you unscrew that, you can now rotate the platform of your camera itself all the way around. And then it actually has three locking positions around it as well, one on the base, one at the top, and then one on the right side. It gives just, it's not actually secure, it just gives it a little bit of an indent so you know that you're level on that side, and then you can tighten it. And then once you tighten this screw, this is not moving and you're fully secure attached to your base of your tripod. And now you'll be shooting vertically that way. So super easy to use, which I love, and also really high quality metal here as well. So it's held up really well for me. It's very durable, which I love. And also simplistically, so much better than having an L mount on it. Having to take off my camera and move it around is absolutely crazy. I've also been trying this on the Ronin, which is amazing. So, I mean, it does throw off your balance, but if you want to be able to quickly go between horizontal and vertical in a gimbal situation, this is definitely what you're gonna wanna use now. Now, let me show you how to attach it to your camera. So what you can do is take off your lens first. And then your mount on the bottom of the camera, you're just gonna attach that to the mount here on the bottom. It comes with the screw. But you also can start by hand tightening it as well until you get it in place. Make sure you align the base with where the lens normally goes because you are attaching the lens like you normally do. So you want to make sure there's room here for the lens to still go through. So when you're aligning this and tightening this, just make sure this is aligned first. So once it's tightened at the bottom, now it's as simple as just attaching your lens. So you just put your lens through like normal. Wait for the click and now you're all attached. So again, it has a little bit of a gap between the ring and the lens itself. So it's actually not supporting it. All the support is getting put on here on the camera base and also here where the tripod's attached. So you would just take whatever tripod head you have, screw it into the base here. And now you're all set. And now you can just attach it to a tripod. And you're ready to go. And make sure you tighten this screw depending on where you want the orientation of your camera to be. Practically, this is amazing. This has saved me a lot of time now when I'm on the go and I want to switch between horizontal and vertical, especially when I'm in a fast-paced environment, I need to quickly switch. Normally, obviously, you're not switching constantly when you're photographing or doing videography stuff, 
but it just depends, especially on a tripod. It really just depends what you're shooting. I like to, so I can just be able to check quickly my composition between vertically and then quickly go and switch and go switch to horizontal if I want to. And now I can go check that as well. So super handy. Also when I'm filming videos, also for screens, if you have a flip out screen, which this Canon does not, if it's getting mounted upside down to get the correct shot and the screen only flips out one way, no problem at all. You can just flip it all the way around upside down and now your screen is facing towards the ground where you actually can view the, the viewfinder on the back of the camera, which is huge. So if that's a problem for you where you can't, if you're trying to mount stuff, especially for permanent setups on walls or for our cameras upside down, this definitely helps to be able to get the screen in a way visible for you to be able to see. Another huge plus is with the L brackets, you get in the way of all of your SD ports or just your HDMI ports on the side of your cameras, which is so annoying. With this, it cleans everything up a lot. It's super easy to use. It's a little chunky at the bottom here, thickness wise, which I think they could bring down. But overall, it gets rid of all the stuff on the sides of your camera. You're not getting it in the way of now when I'm trying to film stuff, everything is clean and I can actually access the ports on the side, which is absolutely amazing for me. Lastly, price. I would say it's a little bit on more, more expensive side, but again, there's not a lot of other stuff on the market and camera gear is always super expensive, honestly. So I'm not surprised by that at all. But the quality I've been very impressed about, it's a very strong, durable metal and it's been working really well for me for the last couple months. So I've been really enjoying it. I definitely recommend it if you, if you use an L bracket a lot or if you use brackets a lot on your camera and especially if they're getting in the way of your side ports, definitely worth it just for the ease to be able to move stuff around so quickly. I think right now they're just about over $100 per mount, but if you do like them, I do have a discount code to get 10% off, which I'll link down in the description if that helps you out a lot. I highly recommend it if you're an everyday videographer or photographer. Definitely check out the different types of mounts they have and make sure it's compatible with your camera. This is the ATOL D mount for that I'm using right here today, but just make sure again, you have the right one for your camera. They are coming out with new mounts constantly. They're trying to adjust to the bigger camera sizes I've heard. Just make sure you check so you don't get disappointed when you get the wrong mount in the mail. Let me know if you have any questions below about the mount and I'd happy to get to your comments. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.